Hey everyone, welcome back to Little Nightmares. This is chapter 3. Alright, carrying on through here. There's a um, chapter related trophy in this chapter. In chapter 3. Uh, it's... I don't know what it's called, but we've got to mix three ingredients into a boiling pot when we meet the chefs. So, um, kind of fun little area. Alright, we're going to come over here. We're going to stand on this thing here. We're going to grab this hook. So just hold on to that. I think we can sort of see one of the... Yeah, look, you can see a chef dude up the top there. So we have two chefs to worry about in this area. For the first part, we'll only have one, but we end up waking one up. Alright, so you can drop off here. Alright, Six is still a little hungry. I think I just heard a rat die in the trap. No, I guess not. Oh, there it is. I was like, which trap is it? Right, so once you're done being a weirdo and eating that rat, uh, we want to come all the way up here, jump across the washing baskets, Alright, we're going to push this little platform over, run up, and we're going to drop down. Instead of going forward though, we're going to go back and drop down a hole. Alright, we have a statue here. Climb on up. Alright, we'll go through the door. Through here, we just want to push this cart. Excuse me, cart, come back. Alright, jumping through the next area. Okay, so, from here, this is where we want to get the trophy for this particular chapter. We want to come over here, grab this carrot, we want to sneak into this area. Alright, we're going to go under the table. He has seen us, but it's fine, he was going to aggro anyways. Uh, what we want to do is come over here. Alright, you can let go of sneak and just hide in this corner. He hasn't come out yet, so I'm just going to run over here. We're going to toss the carrot all right, into that. And we're just going to run over to this little area here. So that's the first ingredient that we need. Uh, we need three in total. So a fish head, which is just over here to the right, under the table here. Um, this particular spot where we are, this is our safe haven. So like he's not going to find us if we come back here. All right, so we're going to grab this fish head. All right, we're going to stay under the table. He's seen us. So he's going to come over this side. Just want to run over here. This is by far the most time consuming part of the chapter. And I always get my buttons mixed up. Alright, so once he goes over there, I'm just going to quickly come up here, and we're going to chuck the fish head into the pot. Alright, he'll probably see us, which is a good thing. Alright, we want him to look under there.
Alright, we want him to prep the fish. Turn around and we're going to come back out here and jump on this crate here. Once we pick up the cheese I have a really bad habit of breaking these wine things. I didn't that time which is great. Yeah, you're nasty. Carry on walking buddy. There we go. Alright, once he's doing his thing there we just want to grab the cheese, chuck it into the pot and that should give you your trophy kitchen hand. So, I died straight after getting that trophy, but that is fine. It was only because I was trying to run towards progression and it did not work. So you'll still notice like the fish head and the cheese there. Um, once he's calmed his farm a little bit, you want to come over here. Did he see me? He did see me. Alright, we're just going to run over. We aggroed him a little bit too much there. Alright, he's going to look under there. He won't find us while he's looking for us there. I'm just going to try and sneakily get up here. Oh, he still found us. This guy is incredibly frustrating. Alright, while he's got his arm under there, I'm just going to make my way up this little cabinet. Alright, you can come to the left here. Now, what we can do is pick up this, not this. We want to pick up this here. Just move it over here. Alright, light the lantern. And then we're going to come and grab this ledge here. Now, he can't exactly get us, so it's totally fine. He's looking. You know what? I want to throw something at him. It did not work, so that's fine. Yep, incredibly annoying enemy. But, glad I'm past that. Right, we're going to come over here. We're going to climb up these... going to climb up into here. A couple things we can do in here but I'll do it on my way back. Alright, so for the moment we're just going to push the door completely open. Alright, just going to walk over this way. I'm going to jump on top of here. Alright, grab the key and you want to swing your way so that the key gets knocked off the shelf. As soon as that happens, we're going to run under the bed. Alright, we have chef number two. He's going to make his way outside. From here, we can grab the key. Once you hear the door open and close, you're pretty safe. Alright, I'm just going to leave the key here for a second. What we're going to do is run to the next room. Open the door. Alright, and if you turn on your lighter, you'll notice there's a gnome here that wasn't here before. So we're going to give him a hug. We're going to jump on the toilet and then run across here. Oops. Alright, we have a candle we can light. And to be honest, I just got a trophy called Light Up Your Life. So I'm assuming that's because I've uh, lit a few candles in future. I'm not sure. Unless I just got it as early as you can. I'm, again, not sure. Um, Alright, so we want to open up the elevator here. I want to grab the key and we're going to come down the elevator. Um, this can be a little bit hard, you can get caught here. Alright, we have a gnome coming up. 
that little gnome there, he's hiding in a jar. So first thing we're going to do is put the key down, like right in front of this crate here. Alright, we're just going to make our way over to this little jar here. Alright, we want to pick it up, we want to hiff it. We want to quickly hug the gnome. And then we're going to run and hide under the cabinet here. And the gnome is caught somehow. Alright, come over here, grab the key, and proceed. Alright, so we're going to sneak this way. Generally the chef was here, I don't know, he must be down there somewhere. Oh, that's fine. So we're just going to go to the right here. Hopefully he doesn't aggro. Right, we're going to hide under our little shelf. Hopefully he can't get us. Nope, he's fine. He's going to bugger off. Nice. Gonna quickly sneak. If you hear the heartbeat, just drop the key and run for safety. Alright, use the key. No, we don't want to use that. Alright, we're gonna come over here. Go up. Go up again and into this room. Uh, so first off, <coughs> you can come under the table here. We've got a gnome. So we want to give him a hug. Alright, and then we are going to come up into this little loft. Alright, so first thing we want to do is just save ourselves some time and drop this ham off the ledge. Alright, we'll come back to that in a second. We're going to go through into this room over here to the right. So, we have a lantern. We have a doll. Never really checked this area before. Obviously nothing there, that's fine. Alright, so the aim of the game here is to get three hams onto this little trapdoor thing. I'm going to pull this over as much as I can. No, okay, it won't let me. That is fine. Pull this ham. I'm going to try aim for the right hand side just so that it gives me a bit more room to give the other one. Alright, we need three hams in total. We're going to come over here, climb up the shelf. We're going to swing from this hook and grab onto the ham attached to the hook. Just like that, it'll slide off. And we'll pull this onto the trapdoor here. Nice. From here, we're going to take the loft back down. I wonder if I can... Yeah, made it. Alright, we're going to grab hold of the switch. Drop the ham into the uh, little mincer. Turn the crank and we want three little sausages to come out so that we can swing over to the exit. Run, grab, and we're just going to swing.
Alright, coming up to this next area. We want to... This will be where we want to hide, alright? Just in this basket here. So, we're going to... Get the elevator. We're going to run back. Hide in this little box. Alright, he found his cheese, he's gonna bugger off to the left. Once he's doing his thing, he can just sprint to the elevator. Alright. He's gonna follow us up here, so as soon as this opens, alright, we want to jump into this little vent here. You see, it's just like a little place we can hide. So we need him to open that door to our left. Alright, once he goes in you can sort of sneak behind him. Uh, this next part can be a little bit risky, but I mean if you want the candle just want to come over to the leg here, jump onto this, pull yourself up, we're still going to keep sneaking. Alright, there's a candle on this top shelf up here. Grab hold of that. Grab hold of this. Jump over to the ledge. Just going to jump on top of that little crate. Alright, light your candle. Alright, and I'm just going to sneak, fall onto that. He might notice us getting down. Yep, he did. Alright. Crawl under behind here. He heard something, but he didn't actually aggro, which is great. Uh, from here, I'm just going to jump up. We're going to climb through. Alright, we want to hit this meat grinder. Alright, we're going to run towards that little hole again. Slide through. Alright, we're going to grab this key and we're just going to sprint. Didn't mean to throw that off, damn. You can see there's a lot of uh, leeway there. So we're going to sprint to the elevator. He's going to notice us. Alright, we're going to run all the way out. We're going to use the key. You want to do this relatively fast. Push the door open. And then we're just going to hide in this little basket here. Okay, so I've been waiting here for quite some time. I don't think the guy's coming. Generally, he'll come in and... Uh, we will have to see him go through that door. Didn't quite happen like that though, so that's alright. If he does, he'll just go through the door on the right. Alright, what we're going to do here is come down. Bring out your, your lighter here. You'll be able to see a doll just in the corner. Pick that up, throw that. And we're going to climb up the side here. Alright, that's it for the collectibles, I think. Now we just have a difficult chore of getting past these guys. So, best place to sort of finish this part is right here. Alright, we're going to climb up. And we're just going to sneak. They generally see you. Uh, he already has seen me. Alright, so we're going to come slide over here. He's going to check under there. There are a couple of plates that can... Uh, make you 
make sound I guess. You want to come to the corner, the left hand corner just under here. Alright, because he'll look under the bench and he can't grab you. Alright, so don't step on the plates. What you want to do is wait for the sound to sort of die down. We're going to come out of here, jump on the bench. We're going to pull the switch and they're going to come back looking for us. So we want to go back to that corner. Alright, straight away. And we're just going to crawl to the left. And wait for him to leave. Alright, once he leaves, sort of make our way out. He's going to carry on at his sink. If he sees us, it's no big deal. I'm just going to make a run for that area that we came from. Alright, I'm going to sneak our way back to one of the grates here. He's going to see us, that is fine. So instantly de -aggroed. I don't know where the other guy is. Normally he's standing right in front of the sink. He's not this time. So that is completely fine. But generally you can just make your way up here and stand here and he will be oblivious. Alright. So we're just going to wait for a, a hook to come past. Nope, we did not. Jump and grab the hook. This is so strange. I've never seen just one of these guys here. There's always been two. I mean, the same rule applies when there's two, really. Alright, from here we want to drop onto the plates for safety, not onto the ground. Whoops. Should be a checkpoint just there. Excellent checkpoint right here. So, we're going to run. We're going to slide under this table. We're going to run to this crate. Climb up. And we're going to grab like this hook here. You have to be pretty quick with that because you will get grabbed quite easily. Alright, and that is it for chapter 3. So, thank you all for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page. I will see you here next episode.